Point spread betting on sports was first introduced to the United States around 1940 by Charles K. McNeil. Mr. McNeil was a math instructor in Connecticut who once had John F. Kennedy as a student. He also enjoyed placing an occasional wager with friends on sporting events. McNeil became bored with the usual win-loss scenario when picking a team. With this, he began spotting points to the game's underdog to make things more interesting. Following his teaching career, he went on to a more prosperous endeavor as a bookmaker in Chicago. Very basically speaking, point spread betting involves not only picking the winning team, but determining how much better one team is versus the other by assigning a point value to the outcome. With rare exception, when two teams meet in a sports competition, one has shown through its previous performances to be superior to the other. This team is established as the favorite. Bookmakers wanting to maximize on their profits will establish a point spread in an attempt to generate wagering on both sides. You see, bookies and legal sports books, for the most part, don't actually make money on straight betting. As a matter of fact, they could be literally bankrupt if an excessive amount of cash was bet on one team to win and they emerged victorious. By equalizing the wagers, they stand a better chance of making money. This also brings us to the subject of juice. In almost all cases when placing a point spread bet, you're required to put down 110 to make 100. In other words, for every $1 bet, the house makes 10 cents. An expected return of $50 would require a $55 payment, etc. That extra 10% is the established juice or as they prefer to call it in Las Vegas, their commission. Therefore, ideally, if 50% of the bets are placed on each team and the payout exactly equals the take-in, these entities will still profit a minimum of 10%. Now let's take a specific look at exactly how point spread betting works. We will use professional football as an example. Football and basketball are by far the most popular forms of this type of bet. In this year's Super Bowl, the San Francisco 49ers were 3.5 to 4 point favorites over the Baltimore Ravens. Many times, half points are added to point spreads to avoid pushes or ties. An opening line is established by handicappers based on which team is deemed the better unit. In the case of Super Bowl 42, this was determined to be the 49ers by 5 points. As more money began to be placed on the Ravens, the line was adjusted down to 3.5 or 4 to attract more interest in the 49ers. Had more people chose to bet on San Francisco early on with the 5 points, the point spread would have been widened to perhaps 5.5 or 6 to once again even out the betting trend. As you all know by now, Baltimore won the game, otherwise known as the night the lights went out in New Orleans, by the final score of 34-31. As it turned out, the point spread in this one was inconsequential, since the Ravens were already being given points and won outright. However, had the score been reversed with the 49ers winning by 3, anyone betting on them would have lost the wager due to giving the Ravens the 3.5 or 4 point spread.